do most of the talking. I'm just introducing you. So, so I only have that agenda? All right, we're coming up towards the top of the hour. You're listening to Fort City Radio at 93.7 FM online at fortcityradio.com. Big thanks again to Cody Arno, the Wilmington Hammerheads forward. Hopefully he'll be back in the lineup, that new Hanover High School product. Uh, we're going to give away a pair of Hammerhead tickets to the uh, first caller coming up. Uh, give us a call at 332-6390. We'll give those tickets away uh, for their home game coming up on Friday against the Rochester Rhinos. I kind of just uh, blew my trivia question. I want to know where Cody went to high school here in Wilmington. So I'll, that's a gimme. So give me a call at 332-6390, and we'll get you those tickets to the Hammerhead game this upcoming Friday night. All right, next, uh, we started off the show with state playoffs, so we're going to close it out with the state playoffs. Big uh, tennis tournament coming up towards the end of the week, the individual tennis tournament. We still have the dual team tennis tournaments going on uh, starting tomorrow with the second round. Hogford will be at Millbrook. Uh, Topsell up in the 2A bracket will play host to Providence Grove. But in studio live, individual doubles team, the tandem here, the up-and-coming squad, Jack Sandlin, also Marshall Warren alongside New Hanover High School coach Jeff Cole. Welcome, everybody. How are we doing? Good. Thanks Good. for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Oh, man. It's, hey, it's, it's Marshall Warren. Warren? Oh, Warren, sorry. yeah, because oh. uh, otherwise I'll get hit <laughs> One later. R. One R. <laughs> sorry. Here we go. <laughs> All right, well, excuse me, sorry. No worries. <laughs> it's oh, all it's good. Fun. I, get it all the time. I have a, I, I just have a feeling that I'll be, um, you know, broadcasting your name for several years up and coming. So look for, you know, I have a feeling, just have an inkling about that. You guys are great competitors out there, playing kids three, four times older than yourselves. And Jeff, I want to just talk to you about first. Uh, how do you get these guys, these kids, prepared and ready to play at such a high level of competition at such, such a young age? These kids are. 14 years old. Um, you get help from UNCW <laughs> and their training program, and you recruit the kids to New Hanover High School. And how, I mean, how good of a recruiter are you? Oh, yeah, I mean, we not, well, well, look who I have. I must be pretty good. Well, you <laughs> have an up-and-coming team. I yeah. know some of your, uh, you know, some of your counterparts there in Laney Hoggard have, a, you know, an upperclassman filled team. But that must yeah, but you can't get an education at those schools. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Let's just let's just say that we're not I'm here teasing, for controversy. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. All right. So you went on a little run there. I was I caught some of the Mid Eastern yeah. Conference tennis tournament a couple weeks ago. You guys battled it out, unfortunately, uh, lost in the finals there to that Laney tandem. Now, Marshall, I guess we'll start with you. I know you, you know, you're not a loss for words there, always winking at the camera. Uh, play, yeah, you, know, you must, you know, you must be training for this type of thing when you wake up in the morning, looking at the mirror every time you wake up and brush your teeth. But uh, what did you take out of that conference tournament? What did you take out of the first season? You know, your first year uh, playing high school tennis. I mean, I learned a lot. The conference tournament was a great experience. I think we definitely came up against a brick wall against Laney. They played great. We didn't play our best, but it really helped playing, learning to play a team that's better than us because we didn't lose much in the season. No, you didn't lose much. And Jack, uh, we'll talk to you. You also played number two most of the year, a number two player most of the year on the single side. And now you get to team up, or number one and two, both of these guys, one and two on the uh, team. And then uh, Jack and Marshall will team up on the double side and uh, wreak havoc there uh, for a young squad. But Jack, again, we'll just uh, bounce off Marshall's answer there. Uh, going through your first year of high school tennis, New Hanover High School, going to be the big man on campus someday. Uh, you know, how does that feel that you know that you're able to put out the, you know, put out that effort and it's equal or not better, if not better, than some of the other talent in the area? I mean, it's it's a good thing. Like, we are freshmen, of course, but like, we're playing, it's a good experience. Like, we're playing kids at one, two, and three that are like sophomores, juniors, seniors, we're freshmen, and like, we weren't great doubles players. Like, we didn't really know it, but like, our coach kind of gave us fundamentals, and we went from Maybe we were start like we lost our first match at two doubles against Hogger to beating Hogger's number one and two and Laney's number one or no Laney's number one and Hogger's number one and I mean they had really good players that we w wouldn't even thought about beating before. All right, we well the now you finish runner up in the uh, Mid Eastern Conference tournament, which gets you a spot into the uh, state playoffs as a doubles team. Uh, you guys went uh, last week and you pull out a win. What's that set up for you coming up on Friday? Um, well, on Friday, I think we have a good draw. We play high point first. I think that's a winnable match. And second, we're looking at either the ones, probably the one seed in Providence, which is a really good team, Cape Fear Academy. They beat them 5-4. I think it's a, that's also a winnable match, but they're going to be a good team. I think we can make it to Saturday. Now, Coach, uh, if you can uh, give these guys any advice or what you've seen throughout the year, what would it be? I mean, uh, you. You've seen them, again, probably starting at a young age and were able to recruit them and get them into the program and get them dominating. 
But what had you, what did you see them initially that made you want to go after right. these young guys? That's a bit of an exaggeration, but they were a district into New Hanover, so that helps. So, <laughs> but what I would tell them was, um, was it that uh, just stick to your formula, and stay aggressive. In doubles, you have to stay aggressive. They, they in the last five weeks, they have just made incredible strides. Of course, we're never satisfied because it, honestly, at New Hanover, we kind of deal in state championships. We've had a lot of them, so I just got to pump us up there. But so they were, um, but they've come a long way. They're a two seed going into state. And they'll have a they'll have a they'll have a good shot. There's some great teams there, and they're very good too. So, like I said, but being young and getting the experience as a freshman really gives you a leg up the next couple of years. If, you know, if they continue to play doubles. Now, if you could just uh, give an overview, I know earlier in the season you hold that Port City Invitational with a number mm -hmm. of uh, big time teams from across the state, including the local teams. Uh, just give us paint the picture, maybe the tennis overview in the competition for this region. What, how strong is it compared to the rest of the state? Are there people that can compete for that state title each and every year? Just give a little overview on that for the listeners. Um, yeah, we actually in, in the uh, Wilmington and New Hanover area are quite strong. Um, we're very competitive all across. I mean, these kids here go to out of state and do very well in the USTA Bullfrogs and sectional tournaments and nationals. Uh, we have several of those kids at Hoggard at um, Laney also. They do very well. Um, other schools, sometimes they're a little deeper, um, so we need, could use a few ex more players but we're they're they're you know we're competitive all the way up so we've, t we've had our share of success from here for all the schools actually well from talking yeah. with you I know you've got some people coming up the shoot too to uh, you know to kind of play behind these guys yeah. in the next couple of years so yeah. we'll be looking for big things from New yeah. Hanover tennis as we uh, head through the next uh, couple of yeah. years absolutely yeah. right mm -hmm. all right Marshall uh, Again, a guy that's not afraid to uh, talk into the microphone, so maybe you should sit in the captain's chair. Maybe you could interview me now. You got any questions for me? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah why, 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 what, what about the pictures you don't have of you? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every time I come to one of these tennis matches, yeah. Marshall's always like, where's the camera at, bud? <laughs> and he's always, after he yeah. scores a big point, him and Jack are always, you know, they always give you a smile and a wink at the camera. <laughs> so I, I appreciate that because I'm always looking for a good picture for the next day on PortCityDaily.com. So I appreciate that help. Thanks for playing for the camera. Is that something that goes into this individual sport, you know, these team sports? You know, you don't really, the camera, you don't like to be in front of the camera. But the individual sports, you yeah. guys seem to have no problem being in the spotlight. Uh, love it. That's the <laughs> Joe, they also, and most people don't realize this, but their parents got them. Janet Warren, who is also Warren, who is also here, you know, they get them agents at a young age. <laughs> About nine or ten is a good time to start, so they're well prepared. Oh, man. Practice right. interviews at home and everything. And I'm sure Jack does that all the time. He's sitting there watching ESPN and talk, typing on his phone over there. You awake over there, Jack? I'm, I'm living. You're living? <laughs> Well, I know you guys are grueling, so let's. We were talking to Cody Arno just in the last break uh, from the Hammerheads at you know what kind of uh, training that you have to do throughout the week to stay prepared. And tennis, obviously, is obviously a grueling, uh, a grueling sport that you know a lot of people just don't understand what it takes to uh, play at such a high level. Maybe if you guys can maybe give us a little insight from your perspective on uh, what goes into a daily, uh, daily in the daily life of Marshall when he's uh, you know headed out to the tennis courts and what you know what kind of training do you do to uh, perfect your uh, your trade? Well, um, I wake up with a good bowl of mini wheats, lots of mini wheats actually, and then I then I go to school. I study hard, especially in Mrs. Johnson's math class. That's a tough class. And then after school, the training begins. Sometimes before school, you go to the gym, work out, maybe do some fitness, and then. After school, you usually just go to the practice at high school, and then usually after practice, play a match or go serve some. Just work on your game even more to perfect it. Marshall, Jack, I'll be the one of you to answer this. What do you guys like, singles or doubles better? Um, well, we, like, in our tournaments, we most mostly play singles. Like, doubles is more of just, like, a side option. Like, if, it's like a lot of tournaments we play, if they're not, like, big tournaments, like, they most of the time don't have doubles. But so we mainly play singles. That's what we like. Our game is mainly focused on. But like, like this past year, like we've really, it hasn't been like the main thing. But we've gotten a lot better at it, and like it's become more of a like, a thing, a priority and thing. Like we want to get better at. Like because before it was more of just a well, if you go to the tournament and you kind of just match up with someone. If you lose, it doesn't like we don't care. But like we've gotten to the point where we think we can do well in these tournaments. So it becomes uh, almost as much of a priority as singles. So. Well, what goes into the, I don't know, the, you know, the, the teammate thing, you know, knowing each other's uh, tendencies and stuff like that, have you, have, you know, now obviously you've pretty much established that you both play well together, but do you guys know pretty much what the next person, what the person next to him is going to do before they do it? 
I mean, I don't know. It's it, it can depend. Like we've had we've had a few matches where we kind of get in, we we get in a few like I don't know we arguments just over like <laughs> he'll like I'll miss a shot or easy shot or he will and like we just kind of get frustrated because it's like why why would you do that? But I mean like I don't know. Like we we came a long way. Like well before we we played. I'm just gonna say it. We we were horrible together, um, and we've we've come to where we've beaten some good teams, and we feel pretty confident about our game. So I think it's a good accomplishment. Marshall Ware and Jack Sandlin, like I said, you guys are gonna be in here many times over the next couple of years. As long as I have a radio show, you two are more than welcome anytime. You just I'll give Coach my cell phone number. You can shoot me a tweet, whatever you guys do, <laughs> phone call, message, whatever you guys want to do. You're more than welcome to come in and sit next to me anytime. Maybe I'll even get you some dinner one night. All right. <laughs> Thank Sounds you. Good. All right, thanks. Thanks Co for having me. No, no, Coach, before well, I let you go, I, I get the kitties out of the way now. Now we get to talk to Coach. I know you wanted to bring up some things uh, as far as the tennis uh, community here in the area and uh, what we do, what we don't do well. Uh, now maybe you just want to elaborate on some of our uh, phone call or earlier phone call today. Sure. Um, no, I just wanted to say thanks to the UNCW coaches, Mate and uh, Taylor Bond. They produce a lot of players over there and the other country clubs. Uh, we can always use a lot more. Uh, especially good high school players, boys and girls. Um, it'd be great if they had lights out at UNCW. Um, that would help. Uh, that would in the later months, and you could play later. But that's another issue. Right. Um, no, but we, you know, the, the good high school teams. We, I don't. I train kids on my own as well. Um, but you're districted, and you kind of get what you get. But there, it helps if there's a lot of kids, and every coach faces that in all the sports. And UNCW, UNCW tennis team among the top. Yeah, they're, the yeah, they're pretty, yeah. I don't. They're playing. Uh, they're playing South Carolina uh, first round at Duke in the NCAA's, which is a winnable match for them. And and um, they're really good. They're really good. So when I you know, go out and see them play, they're fantastic. So right, that's they're top right. thirty in the country. Yeah, it's consistently yeah, well, it's top like, them in the baseball team. Very Absolutely. good. Absolutely, two of the better, two of the better athletic yeah. programs and, in yeah, the UNCW. Yeah. Excellent, Coach Cole. Thanks a lot for joining thanks us. Thanks for we'll catch you us. next week. Yeah. Okay, another great edition of the Sports Connection wrapping up. I'm Joe Katz here on another Monday night, 93.7, 106.3, Port City Radio. Till next Monday, take it easy. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.